in this video we are going to create a client which can programmatically access the web service that we have created so let's start with creating a new project ultimately we would want to build a UI application which is able to consume the calculator options of the web service so let's create a Java application now because that's the client we want to create and let's give it a name calculator client app let me remove this create main class so the first thing that we have done is we have created another project with name calculator client app and this is not a web project this is a client application next thing that we would want to do is we want to consume the web service that is defined in calculator we can see that web service is locally running on this system so let me show you one more thing along with the tester when we deploy a web service it also contains one WSDL which is called web service description language so this is a plain XML file which describes what are the different methods that the service exposes so if we see here divide integer is an operation name then it takes an input it takes two inputs that's why we are seeing input one input two these two here so what happens is client generally will need this uh, WSDL uh, to create a reference to this web service so that we'll see now so I just copied this path onto clipboard you can right click and say copy now coming back here we can right click and say new so here we have to add a web service client so we are seeing an option here so let's click there so it is giving us specify WSDL file on the web service so either we can specify the project that is part of the same application or we can go to the URL okay some flickering is happening for me <coughs> so on this screen what we will do we'll paste the WSDL URL that we have on our clipboard so this is the thing that we copied on our clipboard so we are coming and just pasting it control V so this way we have specified the WSDL for the web service that we want to consume through this client so let me also give in dot package name being zero dot web service client okay since we know we have to give all small cases so that's just a best practice it's not a mandate so this is the namespace we have created and we say finish so as soon as we finish what we'll observe is certain set of classes or files will be added to our project so web service reference so if we open that what we are seeing is there are some files that are automatically created here so what this is it has all the methods as part of our project so this port that has been created here this acts as a proxy so our client is going to make calls to this proxy this proxy knows how to talk to the web service it will get the results back from the web service and same results will be returned to our client app so that is what is the purpose of this reference and NetBeans has inbuilt logic inbuilt uh, framework to generate this class for us so that we can easily consume our web service so next step what we would do is we would create our client application which is a UI which will make the API calls to web service references which is a proxy object within our project and ultimately this is going to make calls to the web service so that we'll see in the next video